All new at six, a Prescott couple say they are in a tough spot after the HOA in their 55 and older community told them their orphan grandson has to move out. The boy is 15 years old and both of his parents died within weeks of each other. Team 12's Colleen Sikora is in Prescott where she talked to the family today. When Melody Passmore and her husband moved here a few years back, they didn't anticipate needing to take in their orphaned grandson. And now they're doing everything they can to make sure he has a place to call home. This home in the gardens at Willow Creek in Prescott is supposed to be Melody and Randy Passmore's last home. None of us expect our kids to precede us. But about a year ago, Melody and Randy had to take in their teenage grandson, Colin, permanently after both of Colin's parents died weeks apart. There was no place else for him to go. He likes basketball. Now the 15 year old has a place of his own, living with his grandparents in the 55 plus community. He doesn't have anyone. He's got him and us. I did know the rules, did not expect this. But a few months in, a call and letters started going back and forth between Melody and the HOA. We're in violation. He has to be out by June of 2020, but that's, they uh, said we'll review it. But then this letter came this month saying absolutely Colin has to be out. What they're telling us in the letter is not that we have to move, that we have to get rid of him. He's not a dog. He's not something you can just throw out. When we contacted the HOA's attorney, they sent us this updated statement saying the board is, quote, deeply saddened by the circumstances the Passmores are dealing with related to the loss of their loved ones. Adding the board's counsel and the Passmore's counsel are, quote, working with the Passmore's to resolve this matter. Melody says she hasn't heard anything about working it out. What I want is a letter that says he can stay here and I want it to be irrevocable. I don't want to spend every year wondering if they're going to come after us again. Wanting to give Colin a stable home to finish out his teenage years. And to pack him up and move him again. I don't want to do it. I want him to move on his own terms. In Prescott, Colleen Sikora, 12 News.